A once blossoming relationship can become shattered and leave its participants battered, trying to pick up the pieces and someone you once thought you would spend forever with could one day leave without notice. Several situations can arise and lead to breakups in relationships where one or both individuals are affected and still there are others whose relationships are one-sided. It takes wisdom and a whole lot of strength to let go, especially when you have invested so much into that relationship. So many people are in toxic relationships without knowing it. Some major indicators of toxicity include lying, lack of trust, manipulation, jealousy, selfishness, aggressiveness and isolation among others. If you find yourself trying to put up with any of these in your relationship without any sign of changes or improvement from your partner, then it's best to let go and move on. No need to waste your time and effort over something that's bound to fail or even worse, lead to your downfall and destruction. Broken Relationships It is not rare to find people holding on to their ex and hoping they will get back together even after breaking up. Despite your best efforts and intentions, you cannot make people stay outside their will. You should realize that some people are meant to stay, while others do not have a part to play in your life. When people leave, you should just let them go and don't become bitter about it. Their departure is usually for the best. So stop holding on to thin air and trying to make sense of what is not. Lack of commitment from your partner. A relationship should involve two people working together as a team and doing their best to make things work. When you discover that you are putting in most of the efforts, time and investment into the relationship, then you need to review some things. It starts with the little things such as calling to check on each other, setting time aside to be together and seeing to the welfare of the other person. If all of these things are coming from your end alone, without a corresponding response from your partner, you just happen to be caught in a one-sided relationship and need to move on to someone who will appreciate you and make you a priority. Lack of progress When you are in a relationship where you remain stagnant or tend towards retrogression, then there is a problem. You are supposed to be able to achieve much more with your partner and become better as a result of your being together. If instead they become a burden to you and you find that you cannot name a single achievement by your being together, you should move on. Loss of peace. This is one sure way by which God communicates to his children. Do you feel something is wrong even if you can't place a finger on what it is exactly? It's high time you begin to heed that still small voice. Death of a loved one. This is one of the most painful and difficult kinds of separation to deal with. It can be very hard to come to terms with the fact that someone you loved, shared your life with, had planned together for the future and have probably been through a lot with, is suddenly gone. You can still picture their face, hear the ring of their laughter, feel their touch and no matter what you do, you just can't seem to get them out of your mind or head. It can be a tough situation indeed and a sad one at that. Yet, it is important to let go at some point. It's okay to grieve, it's okay to hold on to their memories for a while. But when you begin to lose your own life in the process, that is taking it too far. You don't have to forget them, but then you need to live the life God wants for you. And that requires accepting your loss 
and going on with your life. This is not to say that challenges would not arise in your relationships and things cannot be worked out. However, when you find yourself in one or more of the situations above, especially with the loss of your peace, you should move on. The problem with most people is that they get scared. So you might have found yourself asking these questions, what else is out there for me? Would I find someone better? And so because of the fear of the future, they choose to hold on to the present, no matter how torturous it might be, than risk moving on. You find this set of people saying, a known devil is better than an unknown angel. This is just one of the several reasons people choose to hold on. Others include emotional attachment. To move from a relationship where you have become so emotionally attached is easier said than done. Even when all the signs are telling you to run and your mind knows that things are not right, you might still find your heart telling you to hold on. It is this attachment that keeps most people hoping that things will come out okay, even when all evidence points in the opposite direction. Still, there is nothing that cannot be undone. There was a way you became attached, and all you need to do is reverse the process. Cut off all forms of communication, get engaged in other things and seek help if you must. Investments Another reason people find it difficult to move on is because of the amount of investment they have put into a relationship. Imagine having sponsored your partner through school, setting up a business for them, making lots of sacrifices and getting them established and in the end have them turn their backs on you or start misbehaving. It is usually difficult to let such a person go because you feel you have put so much in them. Lack of self-esteem Sometimes, when we do things we are not supposed to in relationships, we feel bound in ways that cannot be explained. For instance, having premarital sex in a relationship can make you become unnecessarily bound to that person. You feel that they have seen all of you, know your weaknesses and for that reason, you are scared of leaving or moving on. Or perhaps, you find yourself in a toxic relationship where your partner has been trying to put you down. You might find it difficult to let go because you don't think you are good enough. You are stronger than you think and no one but God is indispensable.